Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to another Fallout 4 video. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Fallout 4 configuration tool by Beligo. Now, what exactly is the Fallout 4 configuration tool? Well, it's something that allows you to customize some of the settings that aren't available to you by default in Fallout 4. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with other Bethesda games such as Skyrim, New Vegas, and Oblivion, there's been many things that you've always had to do by editing any files. However, with Fallout 4, it's a little bit more difficult to do this. Luckily for us, somebody has already made a tool that allows us to configure all of these things in a nice easy menu. This is really good, especially for those of you out here who aren't really comfortable editing any files, you don't really know what to change, you don't want to mess things up. You can download this tool and it allows you to fix things with the click of a button. Some of these fixes include the ability to change your FOV and remove the mouse acceleration. Two things that I pretty much always do, especially the mouse acceleration because it's just so horrible. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look at this tool and I'm going to give you my impressions of it. The Fallout 4 configuration tool can be downloaded from the Fallout 4 Nexus and needs to be extracted using an archiving tool like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I would recommend 7-Zip. Once the tweaker opens up, you will be presented with something that looks a little bit like this. From here, you can do a lot of different changes, including disable mouse acceleration, which is on by default. You're going to want to turn that off. You're going to probably want to leave the frame rate lock on because it can cause some problems in your game. However, if you'd like to disable the intro videos, you can, and you can make sure that the console is also enabled. You can change the autosave interval and even customize your mouse sensitivity. There's a couple of other things such as enabling or disabling god rays, um, changing these FPS boost. I haven't really looked at this, but it's something to keep in mind. And if you're, you know, for some reason you want to, you can disable all gore in the game or have the compass turn off. There's also options to put in a custom resolution. You can change the Pip-Boy colors um, to your exact. And finally, you can go ahead and restore your any, back up your any, and set your any to read only after saving so that it doesn't automatically revert next time you launch the game. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing for more Fallout 4 stuff. I've been Zul and I hope that you have an excellent day. Yeah.